alpha radiation consists of particles with two neutrons and two protons in it, just like the kernel of helium. This means that the mass of the particles is very big compared to other nuclear particles. Therefore, alpha radiation is easily absorbed by air. It reaches only some centimeters far, but it's, if such a particle reaches biological tissue, it impacts with large energy and therefore is very dangerous. Beta radiation consists of electrons, just those electrons which normally flow through a copper wire when you switch on your lamp radio. But when it, it is output from an atomic nucleus, it is kicked off with high energy and penetrates organic material without problems, but it is easily absorbed by most metals. Gamma radiation is different from the above radiation in that it does not consist of particles. It is some kind of light, but like we cannot see. You know there is light you cannot see. Think of black light, which is ultraviolet light and that turns white shirts to shining blue white in discotheques. But as gamma radiation emerges also from the nucleus of atoms, it is full of energy. It contains even more energy than x-rays, which penetrates organic substances, but is considerably absorbed by more dense organic compounds, like bones. Gamma radiation contains so much energy that it is easily passes metal. You will never succeed to completely absorb gamma radiation, even not by plumb or concrete walls. But you will be able to absorb the most of gamma radiation if you use an absorber thick enough.